Shalom, peace and blessings to you sincere brothers out there, sincere sisters, uh, to the 144,000 elect men and to the great multitude. I say Shalom, and as always, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakaha Kwadash, giving the honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth to rule well. All right, <clears throat> it's going to be a Lord willing, a short video. You know, but just touching on, you know, Deuteronomy 22 and 28, that there's always a lot of controversy with with that scripture. All right? There's always a lot of controversy and people like to go go around that scripture because it's so controversial. All right. But, you know, if you're in the truth or if you follow the truth, then you have to touch on every subject that the scriptures bring out. All right. It's not just, you know, John three sixteen. you see. So it's a whole different bun uh different um, scriptures and books. And, you know, like the, like uh, Revelation says and like the scriptures say, you know, when John was made to eat the whole book, the little book. All right. Revelations 10 and 10 through 11. You know, it says um, that John was made to eat the little book and it was sweet, sweet in his mouth. All right, as honey, but it was um bitter when it when it reached to his stomach. All right, and like the scriptures say, you have to eat the whole roll. You see, so it's the whole thing, or or it's nothing. You see, it's either a hundred percent, or it's nothing. All right, because there's no ninety nine point nine percent truth, none of that, man. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna start off in Deuteronomy twenty two and twenty eight. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, all right? So if a man find a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, all right? That means she's not promised to anyone and lay hold of her, all right? When you lay hold of somebody, you you you, you keep it to yourself, all right? It's, in, it's within your grasps. It's yours, all right? It says, and lie with her and they be found, all right? So obviously... This is not very um, specific. You know, I could check it under other. Uh, let me see. Translation comparison con. I believe it was. The. Let me see. ASV. Which one was it? God, all of them say about the same thing, man. You know? A man finding a woman, all right, that is a virgin, which that word virgin there should be bathwala, all right? Because virgin there means a woman that hasn't been touched by a man, all right? Ilama, which is another virgin, version of virgin that means young woman all right young marriageable woman you see and that's um, that's the difference from from the scripture where isaiah speaks about a young virgin that was going to uh conceive and his name was going to be emmanuel all right the child's name would be emmanuel now that young virgin was mary all right and Isaiah was speaking about future, the future prophecy of Mary, all right? But that word there for virgin was Ilama, which means a young marriageable woman, all right? Because Mary was taken by Joseph, you see? But when you go into this, that word there should be Bathwala, all right? If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, and then you see Bathwala right there, all right? Strong's H 1330, all right? So Bathwala means... A woman that hasn't been touched by man. You see? Ailama means a woman, all right, that was married before, but she's young. A young, marriageable woman. You see? So it says, uh, uh, you know what? Let me go to, let me see. I'll go to Genesis on this one. It'd be Genesis... 24 and 60, 61 or 67, 
Khan. All right, it says, uh, and Isaac, all right, Genesis 24 and 67, and Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent, all right, and took Rebecca. All right, so Isaac took Rebecca into his mother's, you could call it nowadays, it'd be like a room. All right, so he, he took Rebecca into his mother's room. It says, and she became his wife. Now, does that mean that they had a ceremony? Did they go into Rebecca's room to have a ceremony? And, you know, everybody was sitting down there getting together. And, all right, this is Isaac. This is Rebecca. I'm here to join them together. No, man. All right. The natural way for a man and a woman to become married, husband and wife, is to sleep together. All right. So Isaac had sex with Rebecca and she became his wife and he loved her. And Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Now, what, what was the woman made for? All right. A woman was made to comfort the man. All right. So a woman was made for the man. The man wasn't made for the woman, but the man was made for Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai was made for Yahweh. All right. There's a chain of command. There's a chain of order. You see. So let me read that again. Genesis 24 and 67. And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebekah and she became his wife and he loved her. And Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. All right, we go back over here. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, all right, which Rebecca was a virgin, all right. It says, um, which was not betrothed. All right, she wasn't promised to anyone. That's why when um, Salaki. That's when when uh, Abraham had sent out um, his uh. His servant, all right, when he sent him out and he went out and he said, well, if, all right, when he was looking for, for a woman, you know, of the Assyrian to marry Jacob or Jacob Salakia, uh, Isaac, all right, he, um, he said, well, if, if this woman offers me to drink and then she offers my, uh, my animals to drink. All right. And that's exactly what she did. And that was a sign between him and the most high and the most high showed him that sign, you know. So then he realized that Rebecca was the one that he had to take unto his master, Isaac. All right. So <clears throat> that's how it went down. And then when they went there, she, she presented her with with jewels, with money. All right. With jewels back then were like a, an agreement. All right. You present. The woman or you pre you present to the woman that you want, you present her with with jewels. All right. With a with a sort of payment. And if the father accepts it, all right, then that woman is betrothed to you. She's promised to you, you see. And after she's promised to you, you go through your ceremony or whatever the deal was, which in the Hebrew custom, there was a, a ceremony that everybody had to go through or not everybody, but the two um being joined together, how to go through this little ceremony, you know, it was just a thing of men, all right, thing that we made up, you know, it's not in the law that we have to, you know, present each other with rings, and it was none of that, you see, it was just a commitment, and back then, that's what it was, a commitment, you know, people weren't like, well, we're not, you know, they didn't need any titles or anything to, to stay with that person or to not cheat on that person, you see, and that's why nowadays everything is so so flipped backwards all right and that's why we know that this this kingdom is unrighteous all right but back then you would present some money or present a camel or present you know what have you a certain type of payment all right and back then also the fathers they would sell their 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 uh female um daughters all right female daughters salaki their daughters all right the israelite men would sell their Israelite daughters, you see, so, so that should tell you something about the order of how things should really be, you know, not, not saying, you know, cause people take it out of context, not saying to go sell your daughter, you know, cause that's, that shit is just wicked right now, man. All right. You, you can't go sell your daughter and do that type of shit. All right. You have to be spiritual, but these things were laid out for the ancient times. All right. The Most High did not let 
anything slip by. All right. There was all, all these laws were set up for a reason, you know, and the only reason why Great Millstone went over it is because they have the truth, 100 percent truth. All right. And, you know, like the elders and, and like the brothers say, we say that humbly. All right. Great Millstone has 100 percent truth. You see, so the reason why <clears throat> this thing was set up was because people would be left out in confusion. All right. Imagine if, <laughs> you know, you can already hear the mockers and scoffers. All right. If Well, if this scripture wasn't there, you know what their argument would be? It wouldn't be about rape. It would be, well, why does rape exist then if, if it's not in the scriptures? All right. And you could just see where their confusion is, man. You know, but that's why Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai had the, revealed these things unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And that's why they revealed it just to put that out there that that's how it was back then. They never put a decree out to go and do it. All right. Just like, <clears throat> you know, it's part of our law, statutes and commandments that if we see a, a, a faggot, he's supposed to be put to death. Now, do we do that? No, we don't go out there killing lesbians and gays and all these dudes and the LGBTQ community community. And, you know, it, we don't do any of that, man. You know, this is more of a spiritual thing. But revelations are being made and people are, are too sensitive, you know, whether it be a woman or whether it be a man. People are really sensitive nowadays. And that's why it's such a touchy subject. All right. But it explained it perfect right there, man. You go to Genesis uh, um, 22 and 67, or 24 and 67. It says, And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent, took Rebekah, and she became his wife. And he loved her, and Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. It says, If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, that's what Isaac did, which is not betrothed, all right, which is what he, she wasn't, she wasn't betrothed, all right, he presented her with money and he lay a hold of her and he lied with her and they were found. All right. And verse 29, that the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver. Now, Isaac already offered that payment through through the servant. All right. Through the servant, that payment was already given, you know, and the father of the damsel, Rebecca, he was like, OK, yeah, <laughs> you know. So that that's all that really is. You know, it's no doctrine. It's no uh, decree. It hasn't been any law. It, it hasn't been anything that people think, all right, that people like to take out of context. All right. This this rape thing, rape doctrine, that's not a it's not a doctrine. All right. That's part of the scriptures. All right. It's part of the scriptures. It's part of the truth that it was back then. You see, no, not once has Elder Tahar or any other elder ever said, go out there and, and, and rape a woman. That way she can be yours. Or if you're single, go out there and do this. That's that's stupid. All right. And, and if you're in, if you call yourself an Israelite and you're doing this type of stuff, all right, you, you're a damn moron. All right. You're an idiot. You see. So this isn't really something, you know, that is being pushed out to, to go do. All right. It says, uh, um, and she shall be his wife. All right. Now, what happened with Rebecca? Rebecca laid laid with Isaac. All right. Isaac laid with Rebecca and she became what? His wife. So marriage comes through sex. All right. And back then, that's how it was. If a man saw a woman, he was interested in her. All right. She was single. Nobody was uh, uh, promised to her or she wasn't promised to anyone. And he grabbed a hold of her. She would become his wife. All right. The only difference is really. The way that it was set up, you, you couldn't divorce your wife no matter what. All right. But but through pity. All right. That decree was made that you can divorce with a bill of divorcement. All right. And then you guys go your separate ways. But really, she's supposed to when she leaves. All right. She's supposed to not marry ever again as long as you live. All right. And give her time to, um, you know, be be apart from each other for a space of time, you know, until she comes back. All right. But she can't lay with any other man. If she does, if she lays with another man while she leaves, she's an adulteress and you can't take her back. All right. 
that's that's all the scriptures are, man. Just clarification. All right. That that's that's all they're there for. They're not there for your confusion or, or anything like that. All right. But it's going to be a stumbling block to those that are not meant to get it. All right. Like the scripture says, um, it is. Oh, man. How does it go? It is. Shit, man, I can't. Re I had it in the tip of my tongue and it just slipped out of my mind. But basically saying, uh, oh, con. If our gospel is hid, it is hid to them that are lost. All right. That's in the uh, New Testament. You know, if our gospel is hid, which is the good tidings, good news. If our good news is hid, that means if, if people can't understand the Old Testament, the New Testament through the doctrine, then that means it is hidden. All right. That means that people aren't able going to they're not going to able to perceive or understand what's going on. Or what's going out of the prophet's mouth. All right. To those that are lost. So to the people that are completely lost, all right, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai had made it a curse, all right, in Deuteronomy, where you're going to be groping at noonday, and that's in Deuteronomy 28, I believe, you know, but they're, they're, this is, all these scriptures are just there for clarification, all right, and people want to make, make it something that it's not, all right, they made it a doctrine, we didn't, all right, there was never a doctrine made and, and nothing like that, man. All right, it's just mainly for clarification of how things were back in the day. All right, and somebody commented on Cherry Love's uh, that wicked ass Cherry Love. All right, someone commented on our channel saying, you know, talking bad about Great Millstone. Somebody commented on there, well, what does this mean? And they posted Deuteronomy 22 and 20 right on down. And that woman, Cherry Love, all right, you can call her that. Um, she said, I know, sis, it was really, uh, what did she say? It was really, um, those times back then were real harsh, all right? Men were allowed to do that. And that's all we've ever said, all right? We never said that, you know, you're supposed to keep doing it. We never said any of that, you see? Because in the kingdom of heaven, it ain't even going to be like that. It's going to be a perfect balance, perfect chemistry between Israelite man and woman, all right? The, the, the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be written in our hearts, so that means we're not going to be looking at our neighbor's woman like, damn, she fine. All right. You're not even going to have those wicked thoughts in your head come, come through. You know. It's going to be a perfect balance and things are going to be made out perfectly. All right. Israel's going to be looking fly as hell. You see, they're not going to be, you know, ugly as Jake's and, you know, wicked as Jake's and Jake's that can't get a woman because they're too nice. It ain't going to be like that in the kingdom, man. So really, in the kingdom, there ain't going to be no need for, for a man to take a woman by force. All right? It says, um, uh, Then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver. All right? Like Isaac did. Isaac presented uh, the, the payment. And she shall be his wife because he had humbled her. Now, when you humble a woman... Is when you sleep with her, when you have sex with her. All right. That's when you humble her. You see. Afterward, you, you'll see the guy and he, he's he's not humbled. All right. He's not humbled after he has sex with a woman. He walks around like, man, I, I just, you know, I just I just had this beautiful woman in my bed. All right. He's not humble. The woman is hum humble. You see, it says he may not put her away all his days. All right, so really, you shouldn't even be putting away your 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 uh, your woman unless she, you know, you were with her and she had actually slept with some other guy and you two haven't even touched each other. All right. And she was found pregnant. Then you would be like, yo, what, what the hell? Something's going on here, man. And then you would you would put her away. All right. Because she was an adulteress. You see, it says, um. A man shall not take his father's wife nor discover his father's skirt. All right. So sleeping with your with your mother. All right. That, see, that, that that's why the scriptures are there. That doesn't mean we're saying go, go you know, do do this and, and do that. All right. It's saying don't do this. All right. It's saying if this happens, then this this is what happens. All right. Like the scriptures say, um, if uh, let me see if I can find it. Wow, what is that? I think it's in the book of Corinthians. 
or was it uh Romans Romans 11 let me see hmm but saith with grace by works what then Israel has obtained that which is seeking for <laughs> speak unto the Gentiles let me see uh, it was basically saying that a woman gospel <laughs> let me see what did it say um, if it says something along the lines if a virgin marries sin let me see Sin not, or sinneth not. Let me see. Oh, it's Corinthians. Come on. All right. It says, uh, First Corinthians chapter seven, verse thirty-six. It says, "But if any man think that he behaveth himself uncomely towards his virgin, uh, if she passeth the flower of her age, all right. And what is the flower of her age? When she goes through puberty, all right. When she has her." Her flower, which is her period, all right. Her men, uh, what is it called? The menstrual menstrual cycle. You see, that's that's that flower of her age. That means she became a woman. Same thing with a man. When a man is about 11, 12, 13 years old, all right. That's when his his sperm fully develops, and and he starts wanting a woman. You see. That's just in nature, man. But people make it something to be completely wicked. Not saying that you can ha to have your 12-year-old son go have sex with 13-year-old women. All right? That, that's not what that's saying, man. But that's just clarifying that that's when she becomes a, 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 a woman. When she passes the flower of her age. All right? Same thing with, with a man. You know? Around that age, men also become... Or, or boys become men when they start looking after women and, you know, they start evolving into a, a man. You see, it says, uh, uh, if she passed the flower of her age and need so require, let him do what he will. Let him do what he will. So what if she's 15 years old? All right. Back in the day, long time ago. All right. What if he was 20 years old? And his woman was 15 years old. All right. And she passed the flower of her age. And then he wanted to have sex with her. Can he do that? It says right there, let him do what he will. He sinneth not. You see? So he, he's not sinning. We read already in, in Genesis 24. All right. Um, we read in Genesis 24 and 67 how Isaac married Rebecca. It didn't specify what age they were. All right. We know they were young. That's all we know, but we know what marriage is when a man lays with a woman. All right. And that's how Rebecca was married to ja uh, Jacob Isaac. All right. That's what Deuteronomy 22 and 28 talks about. All right. A man being found looking at a woman, you know, wanting her. And then he, he takes her by force and she wasn't betrothed. All right. She was taken by force. And then what happens? She becomes his wife. All right. Same thing with with this. It says, um, if she, pa if she, if she passed the flower of her age and need so require, let him do what he will. He sinneth not let them marry. You see, so let them have sex. They're not sinning. But now in society, it's something frowned upon, you know, now in society, it's not something we should be doing. You see, you shouldn't be, you know, this 30 year old dude looking for 15 year old girls to to marry all right we're not in those times man you know the times that we're in right now is you should be paying attention to the scriptures making sure you're being kept up because because like the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of thy salvation in daniel 12 all right so that's what we should be working for getting that wisdom knowledge understanding and like the brother yabatiza always tells me be not ignorant in small or great matter. 
And this is a very small matter, something that was long time ago, something that was made for a reason. All right. Because that that was going on back then. It's going on right now, too. All right. But that's why those law, statutes and commandments are in place so that you don't step out of them, so that you don't make something out of them that is is nothing. All right. But people like to to, you know, pro prolong these arguments and they like to make something that that isn't. You see what I'm saying? It says. uh, Let me see. He just in his heart. He will keep his virgin do it well. Con, it says, nevertheless, he that uh, standeth steadfast in his heart, having no necessity, but hath power over his own will and hath so decreed in his heart that he will keep his virgin doeth well. So then he that giveth her in marriage doeth well. All right. So if you have sex with with a virgin, all right, you guys have been together for years. All right. She was 17 and you were whatever age you were, whether you were 12 or 15, whatever the hell. All right. But she was given to you and you marry her. You're not sinning. These things are only set up for that clarification. All right. Again, and I will keep saying this, that does not mean for you to go out there and do it. All right. It says, so then he that giveth her in marriage doeth well. All right. And then it clarifies even more. But he that giveth her not in marriage doeth better. So like the Apostle Paul would say, it's better for you not to even be married to a woman. All right. Because the, the man that's married to a woman, how does it say? The man that's married to a woman, all right, is going to be caring about things of the world to please his woman. And the virgin, all right, if she's a virgin, it's better for her not to get, um, you know, with a, get tangled in, in marriage, all right, in sex. You know, because then she's going to worry about things of the world to please her husband. You see? And the whole point of, of the scriptures is for you to focus your energy, your time into the scriptures. That's called clarification. All right? Clarification. And that's why the scriptures are there. You see? Verse uh, 39. The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. You see? So she's bound by the law as long as he liveth. But if her husband be dead, she is at liberty to be married unto whom she will. Only in the Lord. All right. So there you go, man. Plain, straight to the point and clear. No extra steps. No extra doctrines. You see? It says, uh, but she is happier if she so abide after my judgment. And I think also that I have the spirit of Yahweh. All right. And that's what we believe. We believe we have the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the Holy Spirit, the Rokakwadash, that was brought down as a comforter unto us. All right. Giving us the scriptures, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding. That way we can teach our people and clarify things to them. Things that they make up in their own heads, man. You know, they're wise in their own eyes. You know, but like the scripture says, with all thy getting, all right, with all that wisdom, with all that knowledge that you have in this in these scriptures, get you understanding. And that's only under the doctrine of Great Millstone. So with that, Akim, I want to say Shalom. Shalom to you sisters out there, sincere sisters. And as always, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakaha Kwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.